we study physics, we make a lot of simplifications. For example, you, you, you might hear, let's assume a cow is a sphere, right? <laughs> you, you may question, does it make sense to assume a cow to be a sphere? Of course, a cow is not a sphere, right? Uh, but the problem is in, the, in nature, there are a lot of phenomena at play. They're all happening at the same time. And we cannot really study or learn. It's not practical if we just try to handle everything at the same time. So we try to isolate some specific things that we want to study. Uh, so one of the most common simplification or model modeling you would see is the concept of a particle model right and what we say there is whatever whatever concept we are studying if the shape of the object is not of a concern sometimes it is and then we cannot do this but in many situations that's not a concern and we can treat the shape whatever suppose this is the shape as a point mass that lets us locate the object at one point and the whole mass so if this is mass n we say is existing at that location and then we study that but if you're studying for example the rotational motion then we may not be able to do it because then the shape matters so in that case we will actually study whatever shapes we are trying to study this is very common. I mean, you would have done this in calculus, for example, particle mass, but we do this. And we, we are pretty much ignoring the other things that may be in play. And so we, we study different physical phenomena. And then if multiple phenomena are at play, then we also study how they interact, right? For example, we may say, oh, an object is falling and let's assume there is no air resistance, right? There is air resistance, right? The air will push the motion. But what we are studying, that's kind of an ideal situation. And if something is moving in space outside of Earth's atmosphere, that is actually a very practical situation where there is no air resistance, right? Similarly, we may be able to ignore gravity if it is very weak in some situations. But close to Earth, we will not be able to do that. So we study specific phenomena separately. We make some assumptions. And then in the problems that we're trying to solve, we see what is applicable and what is not. Right. So this will be a very common way to do it. 